My name is Dr. Susan Treiser, Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I received my Bachelor of Science degree from McGill University. Uh, from there I went on to do an MD and a PhD uh, at Georgetown University. My PhD is in Neuropharmacology. I then did uh, medical school at Robert Wood Johnson in New Brunswick and then did my fellowship training at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. Grew up in Montreal, Quebec and uh, my parents were immigrants, they were Holocaust survivors, and so I grew up in a very large uh, immigrant population surrounded by lots of different cultures and languages. For them, uh, education was the most important thing because they felt that that was the one thing that no one could take away from you. And so that was really the focus my entire life was, you know, do well at school so that you can be accomplished and be a professional. And then no matter where you go or what happens, you'll have, you know, something that you can rely on. I can speak a number of languages, I love all different kinds of foods, but my favorite is Montreal bagels. We actually had a ski school on the weekends where that bus would come and pick you up and take you skiing, and um, I did that for a number of years, but then once I got involved with medical school and all of that, I really stopped going, and then I had a week vacation and I started going by myself just up to the Poconos, and I said, you know, I love this. Um, and so I took it up again. Because my parents were European, one of the things you had to do was to learn to play an instrument, and mine was the piano. And so from a very young age, I started playing piano and uh, went, uh, did all the exams at the University of Toronto Conservatory and all mm -hmm. that. But most recently, I haven't played piano for a very long time, and it's something that down the road, uh, I'd like to get back to. I love fiction. I feel like I have reality every single day, and when I read, I, that's my escape. I prefer it to an iPad or anything that I like to browse through the book, feel the book, and uh, really enjoy uh, reading. What do I think their chances are of ending up with a baby? That's the most common. Um, certainly, as they go through the different procedures, they're very worried about, you know, is this going to affect the baby in any you know way, um, you know, are there any side effects that I need to worry that my wife is going to experience? Is there going to be any long-term effects on the child? Those are probably the most common ones and the ones of greatest concern to them. AMH or anti-malarian hormone is is a hormone that's produced in the ovaries by the little follicles that are present there, and the more follicles or potential egg sacs that are there the higher the AMH is. And so it gives us an idea of your ovarian reserve. My goal for you is to have a healthy child. And that usually happens if there's one child. Um, the chances of complications in pregnancy is greater when you have twins. Things like high blood pressure in pregnancy, diabetes in pregnancy, preterm delivery, and that increases even more as you age. People know if they have a problem. And if they do have a problem, they should seek a physician and most importantly, they should find a physician that they trust and that they feel that they can listen to because that's the person who's going to really direct them appropriately. What excites me the most is really an opportunity at this stage in my life to participate in a practice that is constantly evolving, that's very actively involved in research, that's very actively involved in education. There's always something new to learn and some better innovation that's occurring, um, and I love to be part of that you know, to be part of helping patients become families. And so medicine is something that I've always been drawn to, you know, being with people, taking care of people, and it's uh, probably my most comfortable area um, of anything that I do.